Okay, what is up, everybody? Today we are back again with another video, and as you probably, if you didn't see it, we actually completely restart. So we're back at level six, ah, uh, with uh, no more million dollar cash, and not a lot of skills and points. But I am currently in the process of actually going through Tevaroa to re-unlock all of this and start setting this up for the future stream. By the way, if you didn't know, we usually stream at 8 p.m. Central European time or that would be what 2 p.m eastern standard time over here on youtube playing some call of the wild doing all kinds of different things currently like i said today we restarted the game for you when you see this, this is probably going to be yesterday but we're going to be live again today if you're seeing this on the day of the upload uh over here on youtube i'd love for you guys to join in and come and see the progress that we're making we did a lot today in the two hours that we did actually end up playing which was just great, but I thought we might as well um, use the time that we're using here to unlock the map um, to our advantage while we're going through here to get some more XP, get some more leveling to do, and actually just hunt some of the things that we have going on, because right now it's sick of here, and then in a little bit we're actually going to have the, um, the feral goats that are going to be out as well, so I thought we might as well try and hunt those as well. Uh, but I'm just really desiring to try and get to the whole, uh, what do you call it? The range finding binoculars, because I missed those today on stream. I really, really am terrible at estimating distances without those things. So let's go out here. Let's have a look what we can find while we unlock things. And hopefully we can try and get ourselves a couple of nice Sikadir respawns. And obviously since this is a new fresh map with fresh respawns and everything, Let's see on what it has hidden for us. I mean, I just ran right onto the sick of deer. And I mean, I need the cash. So we're just going to take it. I know it's nothing interesting for the video, but I thought I might as well show this. Um, even without any skills and perks, they still won't notice you running in. Even if you're full on sprinting. Like, obviously, Sigurdjir aren't the most aware animal in the game, but even without any of these skills and perks, I didn't think I'd be able to run up to animals in the forest and them still stay there, which I'm very happy about. I mean, I can't complain about that at all. And to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't even have noticed uh, that it was there if it hadn't had called at me, because uh, I would have just ran right by. But I will more than gladly take that right there that's an easy kill an easy xp for me now we definitely have a couple of nice um feral goats around here in the area there's a lot of like small females as well to be quite fair but there's a couple of decent fours around and i'm just currently still in the process of spotting most of them but since we have to go over there in just a second as well um, I thought we might as well, um, use the 243 that we have here. And just see if we can get a good shot on him. I accidentally got out the 22 there. Um, where is the 4 that we shot? He is dropping, so he is going down. So we got a good shot on him. And there's a bunch more coming in. Okay, there's a nice four back there there's another nice one coming in there's a couple of good ones down here and i'm happy i waited a little bit longer um before i actually shot over there because now we have a nice i think that should just be just a normal white i mean it's always hard to distinguish if they are albino or not um but i've kind of come to the realization that getting up your hopes on on these guys being albino it's not going to be it. Like, it's very hard to distinguish. Like, unless you can see the nose or the hooves very well. I believe they're called hooves. Uh, you can't really distinguish if it's an albino or not. So, I'm just going to assume that it's going to be a white fur variation um, instead of anything else. But let's get just a little bit closer and then let's go ahead um, and take a nice broadside shot and see if we maybe get an opportunity at another one as well. Because at this point, we really need the cash, like, desperately. Now, sadly, our big four, I actually don't know where he went. I just saw him. And now, all of a sudden, he's not there anymore. Um, But we have the other one that's there as well. So we might as well try and get him out. 
Um, and we're not going to get a second shot in there, sadly. But it does look like we have a good shot. And since that guy up there, or that female up there, doesn't really care. Uh, we're going to use the 270 on that one. Just to make her go down rather quickly. But that should be both of them down. And it is. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and collect those guys. Obviously, I know that we... Um, completely used the wrong hammer for the last one we used the 270 which is a class 4 to 8 for anybody that doesn't know and these goats are a class 3 so it was not eligible to kill it but you know uh, i kind of just want the cash at this point and sometimes i don't really like tracking them that far so uh, i'll take that little penalty that we'll get for using the wrong weapon but in that case i'll get like the cash still and i'll still get a small amount of xp which is um, better than nothing and saving the trouble of ru running a lot in that direction where in reality I have to end up going there later on. Now here is the female that we shot with the wrong bullet. And yeah, look, we still get 680 cash and we still get almost 29 rifle score, which let's look what we get with a like decent shot with a proper right ammo. I don't think it'd be that much higher if I'm going to be really honest with you. Look, okay, we got 300 more cash, but I think that's mainly to do with the fact that this guy's actually level 4. And look, we only get 4 extra points for using the right rifle score, but in comparison, this guy ran from all the way there to all the way up there, whereas the female ran from there to there. Which, is that worth 4 points of hunting score? For me personally, no. Um, I might as well just um, use what I have at my disposal and get my stuff quicker. But, you know, um, to each their own. I mean... If you guys want to do that and you guys want to hunt them with the actual proper weapon, I highly encourage you to do that. I mean, it is always a, a good thing to do for sure. Um, but personally, I just I see more gain in getting more animals down in the long run uh, and losing on some of the um, integrity points. But in the end, having more, uh, more cash and more XP in the bank. But while I've been rambling on here... Let's let our heart rate calm down very quickly. And let's actually compare the actual scores to a male level 4 back there. And... Oh, okay. I, this, this is always weird for me when I'm starting off again. I always find it's crazy how shaky the freaking gun is at the beginning and how wobbly it is. And then taking these long range shots. Like, it is... It is tough. Like, the learning curve at the beginning. Like, if you don't know what you're doing... I understand how that could be very tough for somebody. Now let's look if we got a good shot. I feel like we were a little bit high. And we might have gotten the spine. But no, he is dead right over there. So let's go around. Let's pick them up. And let's really do a like comparison sake for both of them. Oh look, I found our big level 4 again. He's right on the other side. But I think we can come back and um, pick him up in a second. Uh, assuming that I'll remember. But let's lay down on the grass again, because we really need all we can have. And I think for this one, we're going to use the actual proper gun. Now, let's just make sure we got a good score. Uh, not a good score, a good shot on him. And yeah, I think we did. He is going to go down um, a little bit slower, obviously. But he will go down eventually. But now let's go ahead and pick up the other two that we dropped on on this side over here. Okay, now I'm actually curious. Let's have a look. Mail to mail comparison. Okay, so you got a little bit... Like 150 bucks less cash. But look, I got the exact same weapon score on this one as I did on the other one. So, for me, it's not really a trade-off like that. Of course, if you want to maximize all the cash, um, please, by all means, um, do go for that. But in this case, um, I'm just fine with using the 270. Obviously, I won't do it for the whole video because uh, I think you guys like to see some of the challenge um, of me actually using the 243 on these lower class animals but i do just want to bring that up there that people always think that if you use the completely wrong weapon that you'll get like the biggest punishment on it and that's that's not always the case in some cases it is like some animals like for example the um the rabbit is one good example of that the rabbits if you use the wrong weapon on that like you will be punished for that like instead of getting like 50 or like 40 um, hunting rifle score, you'd only get 25. Now, this one, we did get a quite a bit higher of a score. We got 41, well, almost 42. So, in this case, I would almost say it is worth it, because this one didn't really run all that far. 
And it gave us a lot more cash, so it does kind of depend um, on it a little bit. But most of the time, um, in my experience at least, you won't get punished too badly with these um, animals like goats. Um, I think the chamois as well. Um, even though I didn't really do too much testing with those because I only hunted those whenever I did um, like actual hunts for them for trying to get the diamond. I actually never really paid it close attention to the XP or like um, cash. Whereas for the goats I did because I played those or I hunted those a lot um, during the early access weekend and I noticed that those gave me a lot more rifle score and uh, cash in my experience at least. And well, right over here is the one with the 201 estimate, I believe it was. It's a nice gold at 183. And yeah, I mean, we'll take it. Hopefully we can get some nice respawns out of him from here on out. Ooh, there's actually a nice foyer that just was running away from us. No clue how I missed them. But if I can... I would love to try and get a shot in on him. But he's not going down. Uh, we're going to have to get a second one or a third one, technically. I think that's good. Pretty sure that was a decent shot. And then there was a three down there, but those guys are off to the races as well. Now, let's just look. Okay, he is down. Um, so that is good. That's actually the first four I saw as well. Um, the other three that's back there, he's just small. He's nothing crazy. I would take him down now if he's um, gonna slow down there. Um, give us a little bit more of a broadside angle. But no, okay, he's gonna go away. So let me track this level four down. And then uh, let's unlock the outpost and let's walk over to the next lake up there. And here is our level four fallow. I actually also shot two pigs still around here because they were just uh, casually uh, feeding down over here but they weren't anything crazy just uh, two females I believe was spotted and a dark brown I think the other one is so nothing really crazy there oh my god oh my god oh my god there's a piebald there is a piebald level 3 right over there oh no oh that was terrible aim that was ter why did I do that oh why did I do that why did I do that? That's a piebald over there, though. That is our first rare on the new account. Okay, we're gonna keep that guy spotted. We're just gonna chill right here for a second. And, okay. He is already debating on coming back. Yes, that should be a long hit. That should be a long hit right there. So we could get the full metal out of him. Which is not gonna be much, but yes. That is a piebald down. That is a piebald down. Let's go. Let's freaking go. That is amazing. That is awesome. Let's go. Ah, he died in a little bit of a bad position, but... Oh, look at that. That is actually, I think, my first piebald fallow deer. Wow, that is a silver at 160. He needed another 12 points to be a gold. Let's... You know what? We're going to taxonomize this straight away. Just because he is our first... Ah... Uh, not the greatest looking guy, but you know, still cool nonetheless. Oh, that is freaking sick. I like the way he looks. I really, really do. Let's just take a bunch of screenshots. Wow. That is awesome. That is so, so cool. And just so random, like out of nowhere. But wow. That is amazing. Also, very quickly, while we drive over there, um, I do just want to really show what I'm actually using all of my perk, perk points for. And one thing I've noticed that I'm quite annoyed about is I'm going to do the sprint and load um, before I go over to the wobble and the zeroing distances here. Just because um, I, I love walking efficiently and quickly. And so I always feel like it's nice when I can reload and sprint. It's one of those um, luxuries that you forget about very quickly in the game, especially if you're starting new. Because you always have to stop, reload, and then you can only walk at like this speed while you're reloading. Whereas now if I shoot, I can run at this speed. I'll go like a little bit slower, but I can reload while running, which is going to be super helpful for getting from point A to point B. 
but after that i think we're definitely going to start investing into like the wobble um aim and stuff like that before i actually go for the zeroing uh, that's just because i personally since i've played this game so much uh, i'm pretty good with the zeroing at this point however if you are a new beginner you are playing new or you're just starting out i would always recommend going for zeroing first so if you don't know where that is that is this perk right here um but I think I'm going to go with these one of these first before I go for the zeroing one. Just because I think for me personally, I need less of that wobble. I need a little bit more stability on my shots to be able to get those accurate shots out um, before I need the zeroing. Because I'm, I'm pretty decent at knowing that this is roughly zeroed at 100 and 150 meters, somewhere in between. So I can kind of guesstimate on where I have to aim. And I've kind of gotten that confirmation over the stream that we did um today and just kind of me shooting at other things around here as well i'm a little bit less accurate but i think most of that actually comes down to the the whole wobbling thing um so yeah that's gonna be helpful i'm gonna take down that fowler i'm probably not gonna show it on camera because it's nothing special and then let's run over there to the middle and see what we have on that edge back there because that is usually the money making spot right there oh my god that is just insane we have got double freaking piebalds on the new account. <clears throat> See, that is what I mean about the wobble. Luckily, that didn't spook them because I don't think I actually had anything close to them. But let's get a little bit closer for that, I think. Um, while we do that, let's go. Let's pick this one up. And I kind of just proved my point. Look, we got another level up. So let's go into the skills section and actually let's unlock the last one there. Which will allow us to see if an animal is calm, um, fleeing, attentive, um, traveling. And I think there's one more, but I can't think of it at the top of my head. But yeah, let's try and kill that one while he has his head down. Just so we can get a little bit better of a picture um, for the thumbnail. And I kind of want to get to a spot where I can lay down and still see him. Which... If I look through here, yeah, I won't be able to see him. So let me get a little bit closer to him and then let's take down or surprisingly a second piebald. I've never had one before and suddenly we have two of them. That is insane. But I think actually we don't even have to do a cut. I think we can go straight here. And yeah, there we go. That should be a good hit. He is not going to run far. He should go down right there. Theoretically, what happened there? Where is he? Okay, no, he's down there. Okay. He didn't run that far in the end, but that is our second Bible down. Jeez, that is insane. All right, let's go pick him up. I, I, I got to get this guy and we're probably just going to save him uh, just because I don't really have that much cash. Actually, uh, we might tax remise him straight away. But yeah, let's get over there and let's get those guys picked up. And here is our other piebald. Now, let's look if I can get in a decent position here where I can get a little bit of a nice screenshot. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's get just a couple of screenshots right here. And as I can see, he looks different piebald pattern than the other one. But yeah, let's taxtremize him. It's, it's heavy on the bank account, but... Yeah, I mean, they're both not huge. They're both just silvers, but... I mean, you really can't complain about that. Like, those are some nice rares. Like, considering in the, what, two and a half? Almost three years? If I'm doing that math right. That I've played this game, I have... I had one pieball, and that one Jamie got in the end. Uh, I actually didn't get it. It was at this lake as well, actually. Um, if I remember correctly, but those are, I think, the first ones that I actually have um, on PC in my lodge. I think I had one on console, if I remember correctly now, but this is like the first one that I actually have on PC that I have in a lodge now. And considering I have a new lodge, those are the first two uh, entries into that lodge. But with that being said, I think we're going to call it a day for today. Because yeah, we've been finding some nice stuff. We've been doing some great progress with unlocking Tevaroa. Like we have most of this coast done here, I believe. I think we just have that outpost up there left. 
And then we just got to get a couple up here in the north. But other than that, I think we have been doing just fine. So with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do remember to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe as it really does help the channel out below. Also remember, if you're watching this on the day of this upload, we are going to be streaming today uh, at 8 p.m. Central European time or 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just look at either one of those and convert to your time if you're not quite sure. With that being said, have a good day. Bye-bye and peace.